well hello everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and if this is your first visit I sure hope it won't be your last what is it I am here to share with you today well Abby has on her pajamas and she was getting ready for bed but decided she needed a little snack so we are here in the miniverse kitchen and we're going to make something from the diners uh, series two, uh, three, Diner Series 3 capsule, and um, Abby got herself a cat, we're going to call her Spicy, since she has that half and half face, like my Spicy does, and she's sitting there on a cat tree that is not exactly in proportion to her, but um, I made a little bigger seat there. Definitely, things do not um, necessarily, um, just because it says it's on a 1 12th or 1 6th scale doesn't mean that, you know, that everything fits together. We made some cat food for her bowl, and there's water in the other bowl there. That's actually real cat food with um, resin on it. Uh, <laughs> smooshed up. Um, and she's got some cat food there on the counter, a can, and some some cat food that needs to be put away in the cabinet and there's abby in her pajamas those are from timu everything there um is from timu but her little pajamas have like a cloud with rain and her pants have clouds and she has a cup of uh, cappuccino there also from timu i put a little resin on top so it would be shiny um abby's gonna have to uh um, excuse herself from the video because somebody pointed out to me that the reason that um, my video is having trouble focusing is that the camera is trying to focus on Abby's face. So we are going to have to um, have Abby take a, take a break from, from the kitchen for a moment. And while she's gone, we'll fix her something to eat. She also has a chair there. Um, it was supposed to be yellow. It's more orange, but that is also from Timu just in case you're interested. All right, speaking of uh, Abby and Timu, um, I am just a few uh, subscribers away, six to be exact, from 2,500 subscribers, and I'm gonna do a giveaway at 2,500. And what there will be will be an, a doll like Abby, um, only I believe she has black hair. Um, I think they were sold out of the brown hair. Um, and some outfits and possibly I'm not making a promise but possibly um a um duplicate uh mini verse you know something that I have that's a duplicate so it'll be open but you will still have the experience of putting it together and um doing that yourself if I have a duplicate I think I do and if I do, then I will include it. If not, then I'll include something else. But that's a possibility. And there'll be some other um, not doll related, not mini verse related items in the giveaway as well. But um, just to give you an idea, there'll be a, a ball jointed doll uh, like Abby, but with different colored hair and some outfits for sure and some other odds and ends. Uh, everything will be new. And, um, so anyhow, that's it. Just a few more subscribers. And, um, to get in on that, um, you will have to be subscribed and all that. But we'll have a giveaway video that tells about that. I just wanted to give that out there so you can, um, maybe you'll just decide to subscribe, um, to get in on that video or in on that giveaway. All right, guys. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to put you back on the tripod and I'm going to um, start doing the, you know, opening the capsule. Just giving you a view of the kitchen and what's going on there. All right, be right back. Okay, I think I discovered what happened to my last video. I think that I bumped the tripod and my camera um, thing was a little loose and um, I think that that's what happened it moved my camera on me 
Okay, anyways, as I said, this is a Diner Capsule Series 3. And let's get in there and see what's see what's inside this capsule. I don't I think it's in my first series three. I think it may be my only series three to, that I have, but I think it's the first series three that I've unboxed or opened, whatever. Hopefully we can oh Abby, you gotta you gotta excuse yourself. Oh, she's walking sideways. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Not very good at playing with Barbies anymore. All right. Here's what it looks like. Let's put our table together. Oh, we have a... Um, this might tell you what it is, but... It doesn't tell me anything. It's a, ta a placemat that says bon, a bon Appetit. We'll put our little table together. And set it there. And here's our collector's guide. Or our recipes. Alright, so with this one, you can get one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like 12 different items. There's uh, cupcakes or crepes. I really hope I get the crepes. Uh, or these fishy ice cream cones or the Caesar salad. I'd like to, I want everything. So um, veggie skewers or uh, kebabs. Um, the sushi. If, I, if there's one that I don't get, the sushi is you know not top priority here um i don't eat fish of any kind um a cake roll um this mint checkered cake the jello everybody wants the jello for some reason um what is that one i can't see pesto fusilli i don't know some kind of pasta pesto pasta um, cute little um, dinosaur holder with a taco in it or the burger. So I do want all of them. Um, least of all, probably being the mm, the Jello I'm not as crazy about or the sushi. Um, I know a lot of people want the or this ice cream necessarily. I know everybody wants that Jello for some reason. And on this side, it gives you the step by step. All right, so anyways, we got the Bon Appetit placemat. Did we see it very clearly? All right. Then there is a package here that has thank you. And again, I may try to make pictures. I'm not as crazy about, you know, them saying thank you. I wish that it was just the picture and said something about, you know, the farm, whatever. Like, this is uh, Happy Sun Farms, so I'll probably make a picture with this one. This one says Happy Sun Farms also, so whichever one's in better condition. Our utensil bag, it's a little different than the last one, but I think the other one you can see better, so... Then we have ice, ice, ice. I might use it. And what's this one? Made fresh. This one's hard to see. So I may not use that one. All right. But until I decide, I'm going to cut it open carefully because I don't want to decide afterwards, hey, I wish I would have kept that. Whatever it is, feels very flat. Think of the plate. <gasps> I got the crepes. I got the crepes. That's the one I wanted the most. And I got the crepes. Yay! Guys, I got the crepes. I love crepes. It's 
move this out of the way. This might be the resin. Feels like it could be. Yep. This is the resin. And it is... What does it say? Spread. Choco Hazelnut Spread. And... in this... Happy Sun Farms bag, what do we have? This I probably will make a um, picture out of. It is cute. There's, you know, lots of other space on the wall that we can put stuff. Alright, this is strawberries. So this might be bananas. Yep, bananas. And it's hard to see in the videos, but the bananas actually have banana like details. You know, like the little, like, kind of almost star shape in the center. And it's got, you know, lines on the outside. They're not perfectly round. And they're not all the same size. And I wish that you could see the banana details better than you can um, on the videos. Because you can see it in person. Alright, so there's that. Now the thank you bag. Um, you know, we could have one picture that says thank you to thank you guys for watching. We could have the thank you in the background. This be the plate. And this is our utensils. There is a one of those icing spreaders. I wish it came with a fork. I can't put a fork in the on the plate with it because uh, I only got one fork with my um, all you can eat instead of four, which I need to um, contact the company about and um, see if they won't send me three forks. All right, so there's our tongs. Let's cut out our crepes. Then I'll cut out the rest after the video and keep them, of course. I really want, like, the burger and um, the taco and stuff like that. But I really, really wanted the crepes because I love crepes. It's one of my favorite things to get, like, on a cruise or um, at a restaurant that has them love crepes. I have a crepe maker. I just haven't tried it yet. I need to do that on a video, <laughs> but I haven't done it yet. All right, so here is our recipe. Hopefully you can see it. So first we're going to put, you know, have our plate and we're going to spread the um, hazelnut choco spread on the crepes and then we're supposed to uh, fold it in and um, set it and then we're supposed to put another one and put the stuff on it and then put the fruit and then fold it and set it some or maybe the fruit goes on top I don't know well if some goes inside and some goes on top it looks like so yeah we're going to now, I like the ones that have, like, a vanilla cream inside and has strawberries and... But, we'll do the hazelnut. We'll do it. Alright, I'm going to try to cut this open very carefully. For one thing, the crepe goes right up to the edge. And for another thing, you know I let it 
keep my packaging. Did I get it? I hope I got it open so I can get my crepes out. All right, there's plastic, clear plastic, and the crepe is like stuck to the clear plastic. So it is super duper thin and rubbery. Well, that's good because it wouldn't uh, fold up if it was hard. But mine's having a hard time coming off of the packaging. Like, like mine, the paint is stuck to the packaging instead of to the crepe. That's unfortunate. So we'll want to put that one on the bottom. And then here's the other one in between there. Luckily, it's got paper and it didn't stick to the paper. All right. Let's that one up here. But this one's not as round. Of course, you know, that's fine because they wouldn't be perfect necessarily. All right. Hopefully, you can see where. I'm... Ow, ow. <sighs> Open these clamshells. Trying to turn sideways so I can reach a little better. Right. Clam shell open says to me. <sighs> Trying to do it without flinging bananas all over the room. Okay, bananas open. Let's open the strawberries. There for a minute, I didn't think we were recording. That would have been bad. All right, strawberries open. And now we're going to open the Choco Hazelnut Spread. And get our spreader thing here. All right. Well, use these because I didn't get my other tweezers out. Hopefully, these will work. Strawberry, banana. Strawberry, banana. I could get them closer together, I know, but I'm putting them farther apart because I don't want to use up all my fruit on the first piece and then not have any for my second one. All right, where's my flashlight? Flashlight. It says to, I really want to fold it like you do a real crepe. Let me see if I can do that. Hang on a minute. One of my strawberries came smooshing out. Chocolate all over the plate. Oh, no. Don't throw it.
this is what I wanted to do, why I wanted the crepes. Let's do the second crepe. Get back on the table here. I'm going to put some more of the spread on the first one because it isn't showing enough. I'll do that in a minute. I like that I was able to get it to fold up like I was talking about. Same with this one. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm a bit out of the frame, but I'm trying to get it to stay like I want it folded, like, you know, like an actual crepe is folded. I'm going to use more of the spread to get it to stay. between layers and things because I want more spread showing anyways. I also want to save spread for future use. So if you order crepes, they come sort of folded in a triangle, in case you haven't gotten actual crepes before, and that's why I am trying to fold mine up like that, Ch taco hazelnut spread around a little more. A little on the plate to hold things. Come on, you. Okay. Let me see if I can... I'm going to use my f fingers and hold it down. All right, I think that's going to hold well enough that we can put it in the oven. I got it on the side of the plate, which I didn't really want to do. But you can get some of that cleaned off. Let's see if I can clean some of it off before we put it in the oven. Probably not. Maybe some of it. Gordon Ramsay wouldn't appreciate sending a plate out like this before 
it was cleaned off with it. All right, I was able to clean some of it off. I'm going to put a little bit on top here and put just a little bit of the fruit on top. And I think I want a whipped cream. Put a strawberry on. And a banana on. strawberry and another banana and right there I'm gonna get one little tiny whipped cream my whipped cream went upside down of course it did now I need to clean it off. It's pretty bad when the whipped cream is smaller than the strawberries and bananas. But Abby just wants a little bit of whipped cream. Alright, I'm going to put it in the oven and set it. And we'll clean this up and then we'll take a look and see, oops, see what it's looking like when we're done. Be right back with you. Alright guys, so here are, really, <laughs> here are our crepes, and as you can see, hopefully, I folded them like actual crepes would be folded. They wouldn't be just folded in half, they would be folded in triangles like so. And you can see the fruit sticking out, and you can see some of the choco stuff, and you can see that I added a little tiny dollop of whipped cream. I should have added more than one, but I just added one. I could have added one here, too. But And something that I uh, noticed as I was cleaning up and nearly threw it away, I actually have a crepe left. It was in between layers, and I didn't see it. I could have put a third one on there, but where would you put it on there? So I can make another one and um, put it on a small doll plate you know a small uh, I have some small plates and I can make a, another crepe or I can just keep it in the cute packaging because you know that's super cute so I'm gonna put it in a drawer well maybe not maybe I'll put it on the shelf put it underneath the tartlets and I had uh, a few strawberries left and quite a lot of bananas left and I actually put those in um, containers um, I consolidated so that I know I mean I have plenty of room in my kitchen at the moment but I did consolidate that so that um, so that I don't have multiple containers Eventually, I will have probably, but right now I had room to, uh, I'm going to put it in and cure it some more, but I had room in those containers to uh, put the extra in with other packs. So, all right, I'm going to put the cat food in the cabinet. This little can is really cute. It's even got like, looks like it has a bull top, tab on top. So I'll put those away. Put my utensils away. I'm trying to clean up while we're whoops, I forgot to turn it on. While we're cooking that one more time. Or two or three, however many it takes. Put our all of our things away. Here is our uh, Bon Appetit um, placemat. I'm gonna go ahead and put it away. I don't need it at the moment. We'll just put it away for now. Put our little table away. And our capsule. 
those out of the way for the moment. Get another alcohol prep so I can wipe things up, mostly my hands. Scissors out of the way, flashlight out of the way. So we can say goodnight to Abby and she can have her snack after we clean up the floor because you don't want her walking in her bare feet through the sticky stuff. Um, I received a lot of outfits today for Abby from Timu. Um, very, uh, varying uh, quality. Some of them are definitely better than others, but, you know, Abby will appreciate all of them so she doesn't have to wear the same thing in multiple videos. Um, boy, I'm sticky. All right, let's bring Abby back in. This is her only pair of pajamas, so. All right, let's sit her back in her chair. And let's call that done enough for the moment. Here, Abby, to go with your cup of coffee, you have some. I know, you're so far away, you can't even reach your, your food. Let's bring you closer. All right, you need more of a bar kind of situation, don't you? All right, hopefully you like your, your crepes, Abby. In your, ca your cappuccino there. All right, guys, tell me what you think of our crepes. And... While you're at it, please give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye guys. Good night, Abby.